In the Build Your Own Bundle sale, there were two of our chemistry things that I wanted this year. The Elements and Carbon Chemistry by Ellen McHenry. <clears throat> so here's the first one. Elements. This is for kind of a middle elementary age. I'm going to do this one with everybody. There's activities within each chapter. Activities to do and then also ones that are more of a worksheet. I don't know how many we will do, but they looks like they have a pretty good variety. And some of the chapters have a little comic with them. Each chapter is pretty well the same. Teacher section just has the materials, or the worksheets, answers, and then things to print off. As well as additional ideas. Now, carbon chemistry, my, my daughter will do that one by herself because it's more of a mid, upper elementary to middle school. See that it's pretty, she has lots of drawings and stuff to make it a little more engaging. But carbon chemistry is the same basic setup as <clears throat> the other one. Including some online research things, so that might be good for my daughter. More activities. I have a haul from Anal Analytical Grammar that I thought I would show for you today. I My order came very quickly and I was surprised by how quickly it came because it was media mail but I, then I realized that she's that their location is about an hour away from me so <laughs> that is why it came so quickly for me. This year for grammar I am using Analytical Grammar for both Elizabeth and for Benjamin. Ben will use the junior version. There's several things I like about it. One thing that I like is that they suggest spreading out their one book over three years. And I love that you're not then spending every day, all year, or you know, most days, whatever it is, all year doing your grammar. I also really love the look of their build your own book, build, what's it called? Build Beyond Book Report. Um, and so for writing or for reading literature whatever and then come out with writing anyway my order came today so i thought i would show you before i do though it did come very quickly i ordered a media mail but i'm only an hour away i didn't realize that when i ordered it so if you order it by media mail it's going to take a little bit longer than that first page is a one page synopsis of their materials and how to use it and when to use it. I really like that because I find their website just a little bit confusing. They also included a brochure, the authors, and then their different programs, and then their sample timelines. This is on their website as well, but it shows you if you're gonna do it over a three year or a two year. I think this will be very helpful. I will save this because even if there's one on their website, I'd like to have one on my hand. In my hand. Anyway, that's that. Then they have the, um, this is the Beyond the Book Report part. And I've already opened it. So it's divided into season one, two, and three to do over three years. After we've used this, I will give a more in-depth spotlight on it, but since I've not used it, I can't really um, give much. But it comes three-hole punched. I think that's handy. They give you your teacher guide and then all your samples. Your other things are to print out are on your CD. Which actually, I just realized is going to be tricky because I don't think our computers have a CD-ROM drive. I don't know. Hopefully we have a... <laughs> Uh, a portable one somewhere. Sign of the times. Anyway, 
give you again the timeline and they give you a t-shirt so this is um, starts off with choosing books how to use the packet what to do um, on the different days like they help you do different type of book reports and then they go into the sample. She says on her website that she used Charlotte Webb all the way through. That way she's not giving out um, you know, uh, portions of various books that your student might be using. So here's all the samples for the different things. Plot summaries. Activity. Here's an example of a pamphlet. Anyway. Like I said, that's divided into three seasons. So they have seasons two and three. And then student book and the teacher book. Again, these are divided. You can, I don't know if you can see the green. Ah, oh, yeah, there's green. Those are for the different seasons to do it. We are using the two year plan, um, with, starting with eighth grade, ninth grade. Their three year has you starting it in sixth grade, and that's what Ben will do, assuming we stick with it. And they show you how to do it as a one year if your student is 10th grade or older when you start. So, student book, the way it's organized. Okay. The first day of the week, you have a notes page where they go over the what the lesson is. Then there are three exercises. And then the fourth day is a skill support, so you're practicing some skill. In the junior version, this page is called Playing with Words. And then there is a weekly test to go with it. So, that's that. And then the teachers, or the teacher, yeah, the teacher version is the same thing just with the answers. They also give talk about teacher's notes and as you can tell by the title of this video it's going to have a couple hauls in it but I don't know what's going to be next because I don't know what's going to come next or even what's going to be ordered next. I'm not sure if I have anything on order right yet or not. I can't recall. Anyway, stay tuned and see the next doll. Elizabeth's math came today. I would show it to you. <clears throat> when I, I've been stuck in the classifieds on military nine for a month for these. And every time I would get it, every time I'd see one, it'd be, oh, I just sold it this morning. So I finally found one and snatched it up quickly. If you haven't watched my other videos, she, took algebra this year online. It was a great class, I loved it. Which means next year she should move on to geometry. But for a few reasons, I wasn't ready to put her into geometry. So we are doing a second year of algebra one, but with a more advanced, rigorous type of curriculum that also presents things a little differently so that to give her a really good foundation for algebra because she does hope to go into a physics field in college so I want to make sure that this is really strong it'll buy us a little time and then next year as a ninth grader she'll go into geometry so this is Art of Problem Solving by the same people who write the Beast Academy that my middle son uses I have not actually held this in my hand yet, so I am very glad to finally get a copy. As with Beast Academy, there are not a lot of problems in a, uh, in a lesson. There's one, one, two, five in that lesson, but they are more difficult and really cause the student to approach math in a different way. So while there's only five, that's not to mean that, you know, it's only gonna take them a few minutes. These problems may take them <laughs> much longer. 
they do have samples up on their website, but I couldn't get a good feel for it. Um, a really good feel. So, um, but I, I know enough about them and with using Beast Academy with Ben that I felt pretty confident it would be a good one for her. This one does go into things that she didn't get into with her other algebra class, so that will be good. We are not going to use all of it. Um, we're going to kind of do some skipping around. In the beginning, we'll do things that she was really good at, just as kind of a review, and then we'll move on to areas that were a little more difficult for her, or I just really like the way they're presented in here, um, and possibly probably into some areas that she didn't even get into. Here's the solution manual as well. Um, as with Beast Academy, they do a pretty good job giving explanations, it looks like, of how they got some of their answers. Um, I'm excited. I think it will be a good challenge for her for me too. And the last thing I have for this haul is one of the books that Elizabeth will use for her history. She's doing, I'm designing one that's um, events that change history and one of the things that we're going to talk about is day-to-day um, -day life things that changed how history happens, if that makes sense. Um, and it's going to include things like processed foods. So I thought this book would be fun. It's called Better Than Homemade and it just features different uh, like processed things like um, chicken bakes and uh, mac and cheese, minute rice um, and it talks about kind of how it was developed, um, where, why it was developed type of thing, history of it. Um, and, you know, obviously not all of them. It's more about, rather than anything specific, it's just more about the way that all of this, you know, changed the kitchen and changed the time women had available for different, to do other things, and that kind of thing. I thought she would enjoy it, and I know I will enjoy it. I think it'll be a fun read. I will just have her... I'll probably pick a few and then have her choose some as well. Last one for this haul. I will be putting up another one probably late July. I I have things just trickling in because I buy so much of it used. So I will put that together late July. Look for another one.